start this video off. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, uh, no, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Day 3094 of quarantine, we decided. It was, it's, it's Tuesday, right? I think so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. We're gonna get it popping. <laughs> so, I set up most of my makeup here, all my brushes, some makeup palettes. Um, I have the laptop and my phone here to uh, look up the questions that you guys asked, and I guess we'll see the outcome. Why can't I read them? Am, <clears throat> am I not able to read? Is my grammar not proper enough? <clears throat> if you guys were stranded on an island, I could only bring three movies with you, three each. With a TV and DVD player, huh. what would they be? So definitely, you already know one of them is Rush Hour 2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's your yeah. favorite. That's one of them for me. You got to do one now, because I, I pick one. We go okay. one for one. Fried green tomatoes. Mm. Oh no, this is tough. I did, and he posted these yesterday, and I didn't even think about these. So, uh... Falls asleep. Oh, you're right. I do so. just fall asleep. <laughs> you didn't tell me where, where I'm supposed to start. What am I supposed to do first? Oh, you want me to help you? I you mean, said you didn't want me to help you. you first. You got a lot of brushes over here and I don't know what connects to what. And I don't want to dip something in, in the wrong substance. You want this girl, your face is always in prime, girl. Oh my God. Okay. So first thing I, I do personally mm -hmm. is I do my eyebrows. Okay. Tame and frame. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm taming, but okay. Okay. What is this? It's a pomade for your eyebrows. And what am I doing with this? I'm doing my eyebrows. I'm gonna give you a unibrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. All right, let me see. First, you Relax. gotta you gotta spoolie them. You gotta uh -huh. tame the eyebrows. You know, baby. Relax. Calm down. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, so movies. You pick Rush Hour, I pick Fried Green Tomatoes. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay, move on. Okay. <laughs> I was doing some more taming, okay? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> without it you don't need any of this stuff did i mention i don't have a mirror so there's no way that i can look at myself while this is going on <laughs> okay okay <laughs> movies i said i said holes oh okay what am i doing apply some it? pressure let me let me show you how uh, it... don't put that on me <laughs> i'll i'll go like that yeah, look, look no no <laughs> She's trying to set me up. Show you with the other side. Pretend this is this side. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so holes. Um. Oh my god! <laughs> That's too hard. I feel it. Oh no. <laughs> well, <laughs> you you asked for this. Okay. <laughs> We're not even gonna be able to make it through the video. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're gonna start over? No. Okay, we'll just do this this eyebrow while that one dries off. Uh, are you gonna do you wanna wipe this off? No. Oh, okay. I don't wanna mess up your masterpiece. <laughs> Another movie I could watch. The Help. The Help. Mm-hmm. 
You have one more. You gotta pick one more. Um, I like Venom a lot. That was good. Yeah. I think I could watch Iron Man, like, start to finish. The what are you doing? Look here, Mr. <laughs> Sir. This isn't make Mariana ugly. This isn't make my wife. I'm, I'm <laughs> I don't know how to use this thing. What am Baby, I supposed to do with this? Look, okay, so you're like. What do you this. need a marker for your eyebrows for? Just lightly. Yeah. Okay. It looks worse than what I'm doing. <laughs> Forget you. Okay. What is the stupidest thing you two have ever done as a couple? What would be the stupidest thing we've ever done as a couple? We slept at a rest stop when we got here. <laughs> oh my <God. laughs> And got harassed by hobos. Uh, <laughs> that was pretty dumb. I'm never gonna do that again. <laughs> oh, well, you, they asked. That's, that's, that's probably one of the dumbest things we've ever done. Oh my gosh! We fell asleep at this at this rest stop, and I kid you not, these crackheads were like playing peek peekaboo at our. It wasn't even just peekaboo. She sleep dead asleep. <laughs> and I felt people watching us through the car and I wake up some guys watching us looking at us through the front of the car. I'm like, what is going on? Like I'm losing my mind. And he just walks off. I'm no. like, what is going on? And then you're like, babe, wake up. No, oh, ever consider moving back to North Carolina? Yes for me. What about for you? Same. I don't want to live in Gastonia though. Hell no! <laughs> How much do you think the baby is going to weigh? And how long do you think it is? It's gonna be like inches. Yeah, maybe like seven pounds, Me two too. ounces. Seven pounds. Four ounces. Oh, she had to go four ounces. <laughs> she had a lady on the prices right to do zero. <laughs> zero! In my hand, like from here to here. It's gonna be teeny. Mm. 15 inches. Whatever my hand is, that's what I think it is. Am I looking beautiful? No, your eyebrows is jacked up. <laughs> Trying to fix them one's thicker than the other one. Mm, fix it, baby. Okay. Has dad had any cravings during the pregnancy? Yes. What have they been, baby? Um, chicken sandwiches all the time. Yeah. She won't let me have Popeye's chicken sandwiches for some reason. Wait, like, first of all, no, 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 Because no. She, she's pregnant, she don't like the way they smell, they make, yeah. make her sick, blah, 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 blah. I don't care nothing about that. I want a Popeye's chicken sandwich, damn it. <sighs> you hear that? You hear that? What, one, two? No. <laughs> uh, this is like a three-parter. When was the first time you felt baby move? Um... I was like 16 weeks, six days, something like that. I'm really over this eyebrow stuff. I'm just gonna get it popping with the eyes. Cause. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. <laughs> I asked you if you wanted me to do my eyebrows before this, cause I knew it was gonna stress you out and you're gonna be over it. Start on this one. Wait, you didn't take this one off. Jeez! Dang, I really rubbed your eyebrow. <laughs> Are you more scared of birth or just nervous? I'm honestly like, I don't know. Cause some days I'm like, I can do it, you know? Like, it's gonna be okay. I know I'm gonna be in pain. That's inevitable, but I'll be okay. And then there's other times that I think about like, the really gory stuff that happens. I think, okay, I know this sounds stupid, but I think I'm more like afraid of pooping while I'm having the baby and Shaquille like be there for that. <clears throat> okay, so he's stressing out about the eyebrows, so I just took them off, so no eyebrows. That's the look we're going for, very. <laughs> All right. OC, OC, I'm just kidding. Are you scared? No. Well, yeah, because you don't have to push the baby out. I know I don't. I just have to 
be there. Oh my gosh. Hold my hand, I got you. Let's do this. Push! <laughs> so, what was dad's reaction when you told him you were pre you was pregnant? Or did y'all find out together? And what was y'all's parents' reaction? So, you want to tell them how like we kind of predicted we were pregnant? Yeah. I mean, I kind of noticed. You noticed? Yeah. What did you notice? You started acting emotional and different. And you had weird mood swings and you felt sick and you didn't feel good. So, it was kind of obvious for me. So, for me it wasn't. I was in denial. I was like, no. One day I really got on his nerves. I even got on my own nerves. I was so like, ugh. <laughs> So what's next? I couldn't even stand myself and so he's like babe you need to go get a pregnancy test during this whole time like I was supposed to get my wisdom teeth taken out too it's like we found out it long story short we found out together I was excited I'm old man I'm re been ready to have a kid You're not that old. I'll be 27 this year 27 is old to be having kids our parents reaction uh, they all cried, except for my mom. So I have two moms, um, and one of my moms did not cry. She actually didn't have very much of a reaction at first. I think it had to sink in more so, and she was in like a weird situation when I called her, like physically in that moment. So it was just kind of like, I wish it was a different reaction, I guess, but you know, now she's like super excited to be a grandma for the fifth time because she already has grandchildren, so. Okay, what do I do next? Powder or cream? Mm hmm. With foundation. Okay. To go on this side? Sure. Oh, okay, okay. I, told you I wasn't I was ready. Going. And then, yeah, our parents were excited. They're ready to be grandparents. Is Shaquille going to cry when the baby gets here? Yeah, I've already cried, so. Remember I cried the other day. I'm definitely gonna cry. I'm a punk. <laughs> All right, how did you guys meet and what attracted you guys to each other? We lived in San Diego at the time and we both went to this karaoke bar so as soon as I walked in, I seen him. I was like, oh my gosh, he's gorgeous. Like, I was obsessed. Like, from the moment I seen him. But I was like, no, he's way too cute for me. Like, I can't go up to him and talk to him. And my best friend at the time was like, you gotta go talk to him, you know, blah, blah, blah. A little bit of liquid courage on my end. I'm telling my side of the story and then he can tell his side of the story. And then I signed up to sing because it was a karaoke bar, like I said, and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna little mermaid his ass to make him fall in love with me with my voice or whatever. That's how drunk I was at that point. <laughs> he just starts singing and he's nowhere to be found. Where was he? I was supposed to make him fall in love with me, okay? I go out there, start singing, and I don't see him anywhere. Where is he? I need to go talk to him. And then all of a sudden he appears and I'm like, oh my gosh, there he is. And I had no makeup on, I didn't have my hair done, I had like this raggedy outfit on, like it wasn't even cute. So I was like, this guy's never gonna notice me or whatever, but I'm gonna go up to him and talk to him, like I have nothing to lose. A guy in the background is sing he's singing like Sweet Home Alabama, so we can't hear each other when we're talking. I asked him what his name was like three times and I still couldn't like hear his name. And by the third time I was like, oh my God, like I still can't hear what it is. I'm not gonna ask this man like what his name is for a fourth time and have him be like a, like aggravated with me, you know? You didn't do my neck, so. But it's okay, you're doing, you're doing your thing, boo. We're not going to where I don't need to do her neck. And then, so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna shoot my shot. And I gave him my number and I was like, please come out with us tomorrow. We're gonna go to Pacific Beach. And he was like, I'll see. And then he's like, no, my name is Shaquille, like for real. And I was like, whatever, I don't care what your name is, come and meet us. And I was like, bring your friends, like I don't care, whatever. And I made sure I looked good that night. Like I had this little black dress on. Not the attire that you wear for Pacific Beach, but 
I made sure I looked cute. And then, and then he showed up by himself. And then we've been together ever since. So for me, the night we met, I was <laughs> TAD. If you don't know what that is, that just means I was going from one command in the Navy to the next command, but I couldn't get there because they were out to sea. So they couldn't fly me out. So I was just there chilling. And um, something happened at work, I forgot, and it pissed me off. And I had to go drink with my own boy and his wife. I just remember taking like four or five shots and then she came up to me and was trying to holler at me, but she was with some guy, he's like 6'6". Six, six. Oh, Frank. <laughs> Dude looked like he was on steroids, he probably was, I don't know. Looked like he snapped me in half, but you know, I'm not about to fight no dude. We were just no. friends, like there was nothing there. Like I, like I said, it was just- I ain't friends. no hoe, but I ain't about to start no fight with no dude bigger than me for no reason. <laughs> I'm not gonna make my life harder than I had to. But anyways, I thought they were together, so she was all up on me. I'm thinking like she's just drunk. First of all, I wasn't all up on you. Yeah, she no, was. No, I was not. All right, she wasn't all up on me, but she was trying to be all up on me, and that's true. I even offered to do the drink. What? <laughs> you got me <laughs> <Yeah>. drink. <laughs> <laughs> but I got just I got so drunk that night I threw up and I went to the bathroom and at that's when I was gone when she went she was up to sing I was in the bathroom cleaning throw up off of my shoes because I was that drunk but anyways <laughs> the funny part is they cut my friend off because they thought she threw up oh yeah because he threw up on the bar and what are you doing your stuff for Don't because it that. feels ta okay I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> it's not supposed to look good <laughs> What's her name? What's her name? No. <laughs> no! Uh, Coronavirus! <laughs> and now you put that on my face. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he kept drinking. His friend was pissed. Well, his, his friend's wife was pissed because they cut her off thinking that it was freaking her that threw up. And then he's like, yeah, well, well, I invited I'm I invited Russell that night. And Russell stood me up, so it's all good. You, you salty, bro? Yeah. Anyways. Uh, he could be like, no, you didn't watch. <laughs> I did. <laughs> you already told your side of the story. It's the second night. No, I, I never even told her, but I wasn't even finished. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then she thinks that I don't remember her giving me her, her number, but I remember that vividly. We were in the parking lot when that happened. We were inside. Baby, we, we were, were right at the at the Baby, DJ it booth. It didn't happen like that. I told you outside. We walked outside. I remember that because I had thrown up and I was sober after that. After I throw I throw up and I was like I throw it up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mhm. Mm she don't remember. I had tequila, y'all. Like tequila. And me sometimes. And I told her my name outside too. And she, I, she I didn't hear remember. me outside. She was just like, "Okay, bye." Okay, gorgeous, bye. <laughs> and the second night was fun because I came by myself and I wasn't drunk. And then I got to see her dance, and then I could sit, hear her sing over the music. And that's really what really done it because she has a, she has a beautiful voice. It's like a mixture between Fergie and Jesus. <laughs> I hate you. And then we went outside, and I remember I was climbing because she had like, I think at that time the iPhone Seven was out. And this girl still had like an iPhone Four. I had a five, you <laughs> hobo. Three GS. I don't remember. <laughs> it was fat, boy. No, it wasn't. It was, it was one of the box ones. It break. You break the whole phone. It was one of those. <laughs> yeah, he was clowning me. I'm never gonna see this man again. He's gorgeous. I was like, you know what? If Sorry, mom and dad, but. <laughs> sorry, anyway, sorry, mom, dad. Five <laughs> Um, I was like, you know what? I've never been a hoe, but I kissed him. And I said goodbye. I was like, I'm never gonna see him again, so it doesn't matter. He's probably not gonna remember me anyway, but. 
you know, whatever. You're only 21 once. Unless you're 21 Savage, then you're always 21. And you're I'm here. prepping my dad jokes, okay? I got a baby in the oven, and I got to get ready. Okay. Um, so I got out of the Uber, and I went and kissed him again, because he was waiting for his Uber. And we've been together ever since. Why does your cheekbones have to look dark? I don't understand that. You don't like the way I do my makeup? No, I don't understand the concept of making your cheekbone look, look dark. What, what does that do for you? It brings contrast to your face. Makes you look structured. So yeah, that's how we met. Okay, next question. Are y'all going to make a baby box for baby? Like to put hospital bracelets and hospital hat, etc. I want to. I want to put the baby's... Um, like belly button, first haircut, hospital bracelet, um, you know, all the little stuff. I think it'd be really cute. And Next question. Are y'all going to have more babies or wait or haven't decided yet? We're going to definitely wait because um, baby number one has been messing mommy up. So we're going to wait. That's what he says, but as soon as he has the baby, like, probably sees the baby, he's gonna be like, I want another one. Do I look beautiful, baby? You look beautiful. Another question. Was it love at first sight? Who approached who? What was y'all's first impression of each other? So it was for me. Like, I had never felt, like, such a strong attraction to any, like, to want to talk to somebody the way that I wanted to talk to him. And there was something about his vibe that I was like, really, really digging. Um, so it was for me. It's probably different for you, because you don't remember the first night, the no. way that I remember it. No, I don't remember the first night. I remember the second night. Mm -hmm. I knew that I really liked you the second night. But I, really, I knew I really liked you the night you told me that you loved me. No accident. way! I said I love you first. And... <laughs> I guess I can answer that one now. Who said I love you first? Me. By accident. So We're saying goodbye. And I don't know why my brain was like, hey, say this right now. And so I was like, bye, I love you. And I didn't realize his window was open. <laughs> And I immediately react to me saying, I love you. I started freaking out. I was like, shit, why the hell did I say I love you? Oh my God, he's gonna think I'm like the weirdest person ever. I don't love him. Oh my God, oh my God. And he's cracking up in his car. It was the freaking. funniest thing I've ever He was heard like, you life. know my window's open, right? And I was like, oh my God. I literally couldn't get into my car fast enough and like to drive away. As I'm driving away, he calls me. He's like, so. Why'd you leave? And I was like, eh, I don't know. But yeah, I technically said I love you first. So, whatever. Whatever. Shaq, how did you know she was the one? Like, to marry her? Was you nervous? Mm. <clears throat> I knew she was the one because she makes me laugh more than anybody ever has in my entire life. That's number one. Number two, she takes care of me. Like nobody else has. Ridiculous, like. Stop it, I'm pregnant, I'm gonna Early on, I remember I had my when my car window broken into and she fixed it and didn't even really tell me to pay for it. it was just like, don't worry about it. And that shit is hard to find. And mm -hmm. people in general, let alone a woman, so. She was kind, genuine, funny, all the above. And no, it wasn't difficult to marry her. Is it difficult being married? Yes, it can be, but we work through that all the time. That's another question so. we got. Ayana, did you see the proposal coming or was it a total surprise? By the way, you did good. Women always see the proposal coming. That shit is a, a hoax. No, okay, listen, you really think that I knew what was happening, but you know I'm so oblivious, like, I was like, la la la. It's just a lot. It's okay. 
You do you, boo. This is your masterpiece. We would go on a hike all the time in Gastonia up at Crowder's and we took Molly and it was like a normal hike day and I had gone into my driver's side door to grab like some different glasses because the glasses that I had on made me look like a bug. Like I, I want different glasses. And I found a ring box, but there was nothing in it. And it didn't click for me. Like it, it, I was just like, why is this here? He's like, his mom works at a jewelry store. So he was like, oh, it's for my mom. And I was like, oh, okay. Like it, it went over my head. And so... And it's important to your nose. Okay. I don't want to wipe everything off. It's okay. Got it? No. Turn your head this way because I got a shadow. We're at the very top. And, and I was drinking water. I was sitting down. He's like, here, get up. And I was like, okay. And I get up. And like, as soon as I get up and the way he looked at me, I felt like butterflies in my stomach. And I was like, what's going on? Like, you know, you know, like, I don't know, it was, it was weird, but the way he looked at me, I was like, oh my gosh, like, something's happening. He pulled his wallet out, and I saw the ring, but it's, it was, it was so surreal for me. It was like, oh my gosh, like, is this really real? And I had told him I didn't want him to propose. I, I was like, no, like, we already know we're getting married, like, don't even worry about it. It's not a big deal, like, you don't have to go and, like, outdo yourself for it, because... The month prior to this was um, Valentine's Day and he went all out for Valentine's Day. So I was like, don't worry about it, it's okay. You know, we'll get a ring when we can and blah, blah, blah. And he asked me to marry him. But I didn't put anything together. I didn't put two and two together or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I didn't, like he swears. Were you Famous nervous? Way. Yeah, I was nervous. I was nervous the entire way. Luckily, we had like to hike with Crowder's that that backside is really steep, but it's only like maybe like three quarters of a mile. Yeah. So I don't know. Being tired kind of got some of my nerves out. I guess that was a really good thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> do something that you guys both like doing and it's not like if you really, really want her to be surprised or her, uh, him or her, um, you know, I would say do something that you guys do. And like, have it be very organic because I had no makeup on, my hair was raggedy, I had like gym clothes on. Be like, oh, I wanna look so pretty, I want pictures, I want this, I want this. And like, I wouldn't change the way that he did anything because it was like so us, just how we are. And so I don't know, I just. Close your eyes. Okay. Hi! That's your mouth. <laughs> get us in trouble why I'm trying to fight people because of you today they ain't gonna come up in my house when did you know i was the one i told you when you told me you love me oh yeah because it was really funny no but like for real the, the real moment that you knew i'm gonna marry this girl like all seriousness oh when you came to north carolina with me What's your favorite adventure you both have taken? We've been on plenty. I think my favorite was picking up our entire life and just saying F it and not having a plan, not really. We picked up our entire life and drove to North Carolina. So I think, I think that's has been my favorite adventure because I don't know, I got to, we got to do a lot of things during that trip. We went to Vegas, we went to a concert in Colorado. We went and stopped and saw his, one of his best friends in Texas. I don't know, I just think that that's why it was my favorite. Plus I got to be in a car when got to annoy the heck out of him, so. My favorite adventure is this to go time around coming over here. So <clears throat> this time around, she didn't do the first half with me, which kind of sucked because our dog is real bad car anxiety and she doesn't know how to sit still. She, will, she won't go to sleep either, poor thing. She, mm -hmm. she stays awake literally for days because she can't sleep in the car until we stop somewhere. So 
driving through to pick her up from boot camp. I drove through Atlanta, through, through, yeah, through Mississippi with her all the way to Texas, but I went to see Quam and I got to see Garrett. Mm -hmm. And then... <clears throat> then as soon as he got to Texas, he picked me up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then, I don't know, I had a, I had a lot of fun because we got to see your parents yeah. this, this go time around. We got to see all of my parents. Yeah. We got to have good food, mm -hmm. and we ate the whole way there. We did. Even though the guys in Texas finessed us for some new, brand new tires, but that's... I know, but they were trash. <laughs> I don't know. I think, like, every time we get up and go and, like, go somewhere in our car, it, it ends up being an adventure. And we learn a lot about each other, too, like, being... Yeah, the first time we drove through, what was it, Oklahoma? What's up about Texas, Oklahoma? Yeah. yeah, and we didn't have freaking signal for literally like five or six hours, so we were playing card games. Probably right. not the safest thing to be doing while you're driving. But. Yeah, but do you remember that one bridge and there was something on it? I was like, I want to go see. He's like, no, that's how you die. <laughs> yeah, somebody wrote something on the up. bridge. I forgot what it said. It was something crazy. She was like, I want to go yeah. take a picture. Yeah, no. It was broad daylight. And he's like, no, that's how a serial killer gets you ass. In the middle of nowhere, somebody got riding on a bridge. Whatever. I'm the white girl that gets killed in yeah, the movie. she is. She is the white girl that gets killed. <laughs> she falls, trips over herself, can't seem to regain her balance and get up. Okay, too far, too far. I'm not even white. Okay, relax. Let me see. You feel like you look bad? No. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are just too cute and can't wait to see how beautiful baby will be. I still remember telling Shaq's mom that y'all are gonna have some beautiful babies. Aw, thank you, Stephanie. You make some beautiful babies too. Babies are so cute. If you could only eat the same thing for each meal on that island, what would it be? Basically three of the same meals over and over and over. Hmm. Okay. So you gotta pick. Oh, okay. I think for breakfast, I'll pick a smoothie. Fruit. All kinds of fruit. If I could have fruit for the rest of my life, like fruit and <clears throat> veggies, and that's all that I get, I can eat. No, but you have to specify. Okay, so a pineapple Why ginger. Who asked that question? Smoothie. Um, <laughs> Ashley Gernhardt. I'm not gonna do it. Quam was like, don't go in too deep to it. That's what I'm about to do. Why can't this island grow different types of fruits? <laughs> oh, you wanna do liner? Yeah. Okay. Well, I just bought a new one. You wanna use that Where's one? It For dinner, beans and rice. You just want fruits and veggies and beans and rice? Mm -hmm. I gotta have like some like nuts. Cause I like. Ooh. <sighs> Yeah. 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 I like nuts. Yeah. Not to be like that, but. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Pecans. Almonds. Walnuts. I love walnuts. Look, you can do something cute. And then I have to have bananas. Oh, yeah. He's obsessed. I have to have bananas. So I'll do nuts. We'll do nuts. Bananas. Cause I can live off just that, and then I got one more mm -hmm. for like just a meal. Mm -hmm. Teriyaki chicken. Ooh. Yeah. And we're married, so like I get to pick off of your stuff. <laughs> oh no, you don't. <laughs> uh uh. Here, just this. Yeah, oh, it definitely. has a little I'm stamp. Gonna do a little more. You're not gonna do the liner though. Huh? Chicken. I'll do the liner. Let's do it. Okay. Your friends are weird. I'm not gonna ask that. <laughs> oh god, I'll inject this up. Nope, you can't go back, you gotta commit. Fully commit. <laughs> it's not that bad, it's not that bad, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Stop moving your face. Okay. What's y'all's favorite part about being in Washington? That's pretty bad. <laughs> 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 you shouldn't have moved. Oh, 
I got it bad. I didn't mess I up didn't your whole move. eyeball. You moved. I messed up your whole eyeball. I got it everywhere. <gasps> Why is it so far out? <laughs> <laughs> Doing it on purpose. Question. What's our favorite part about being in Washington? Damn, it's thick. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part about being in Washington is it. seeing it's beautiful here. It really is. Mm -hmm. She also asked, how's being an airman treating you? It's great. I mean, my leadership is wonderful. something I can wipe that off with. Yeah, it's been great. My leadership has been has been great so far with everything um that's happened. So you would let me go out like this. Red eyeshadow. I would not be lipstick. with you if you look like this. <laughs> if you was out like this looking like this, I'd be like, she she needs some Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> then why'd you make me look like this? I can't do makeup. <laughs> okay. Alright. What? <laughs> That's how it goes. Who's the better cook? Shaquille. Hands down. I'm not gonna disagree. But her food is really good when she does cook. I don't like to cook, I'm too self-critical. I'm gonna put lashes on you? You gotta do my mascara? Jesus. How long have you been married? We'll be married for two years this year, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so two years in June. We actually got married on his birthday. You poked me, you went straight this way. I saw it. <laughs> How? With the same brush. <laughs> so now it's all over your eyes. Now you look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's what did it? <laughs> you look like the little girl in the back seat. <laughs> Which one? Oh, the one with the glitter on your face? Yes. Yeah. The one with Sam Smith playing in the back? <laughs> you look beautiful, babe. What are your ethnicities? So you can go first. Mm, from what I know, I'm just black, white. I said black and white. I'm just a mixed guy. From all I know. And I am Mexican. From what I know. We don't do the 23 and me thing. We haven't done one yet. We so. haven't done one. We want to. I think it'd be cool to kind of like see. Um, do I look beautiful? You look beautiful, baby. Okay, you gotta do lashes. <clears throat> oh, I, got, I really gotta put them on? Yeah. You gotta do like I'm going to the club, babe. Like, this is my club look. These are gonna stress you out. <laughs> um, how many siblings do you both have? I have three sisters and two brothers. Two sisters and two brothers. Mm -hmm. yep. What places has Shaquille visited during his enlistment slash what were his favorite? Oh, Jesus. Um, where do we go? Australia, <clears throat> Hong Kong, Indonesia, South Korea. I say the Philippines. The Philippines. That was your favorite? No, that's not my favorite. Thailand, we've been to Thailand. Did you say Singapore? I don't think you mm -hmm. said Singapore. Mm -hmm. I guess my favorite place was... Your most memorable slash favorite? Mm, probably Thailand. Thailand? Thailand's really cheap, it's very beautiful. You can literally do anything that you want to do there. Uh, and I was with um, Celestine. We rode elephants, we were at the hotel, we went out, had a good time. You were really time. tan, too, yeah. when you were there. Yeah, it was Southeast Asia deployments. Things be real. How do you guys deal with marriage issues? P.S. love you guys. You yell at each other and then talk it out? <laughs> Honestly, not but really not yell, yell. just... Yell. It, it's different for every couple, that one goes on, the, on this side. We agree that if we're frustrated, you have to get the frustration out before we get anywhere, though. I, exactly. Take a walk, even though I hate it when he goes and takes a walk, because I'm like, he's gonna leave me. 
and then um, I do the same, and then we sit down and we and we talk about things talk about whatever it was that bothered us in that moment enough for us to be upset about it so there you go yeah yeah you don't want to add anything else you don't want to add more highlight eyebrows because i know you didn't do my eyebrows you want to go back in and do them no those got on my nerves you gotta do my eyebrows i can't step out to the club like this you can't do my eyebrows Who is more jealous? Me. Her. Uh, yeah, I'll cut a bitch. Looking like this too. I'll run up on you. Fuck you. <laughs> Has Shaquille learned any Spanish being with you? Shaquille knows Spanish, he just pretends like he doesn't. Are you guys going to teach your baby Spanish? Yes. That is going to be the baby's first language. Uh, we're obviously going to speak to the baby in both languages, primary language will be Spanish. Spanish, how do you find? <laughs> uh, Joe said, not a question, I just miss you guys. Can't wait to come home and visit the little family. Oh. We're done. You look amazing. Oh, yeah. I would holla at you if I seen you on the street. Mm -hmm. You ready to see yourself? Yeah. All right, oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I see myself, should we tell them what the gender is? This is really how I'm gonna show the gender of our baby? Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. Okay, then what am I doing? I don't know. Alright. Alright, that's fine. Uh, the moment y'all been waiting for, is if it? I haven't announced it already, <laughs> but we are having a girl! girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. Girl dad. What's girl good? Girl dad, what's the... Are You're you? outnumbered. All right. You ready? Oh my God, am I gonna pee myself? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> wait. Okay, wait. <laughs> You're gonna see yourself and no, be so I'm not upset. Gonna see myself. I said, when you do see yourself, you're going to be so upset. <laughs> Why would I be upset? This was supposed to be funny. I knew you weren't going to do a good job. Bam, you had no hope in me. <laughs> I meant with like stuff like this. Like, she had no you faith. You hear that, guys? No faith in me whatsoever. She, bl she blinked her eyeballs and messed me up. And no, I it ain't my fault. Her primary. <laughs> okay, okay. But yes, we, the baby. What are we faking, Quest? <laughs> um, 